Hey guys, JJ Inc. 24 here today with a brand new system test video. What I have set up today is an ADT 5060S pole station, an auto call 4050 pole station. You'll see it's a local alarm variant. And because uh, something's messed up with it, I couldn't get a screw to close it. Um, so I have this nice piece of masking tape holding it on for the duration of this system test. Uh, then up here we have a uh, EST Genesis um, amber colored strobe, uh, probably used for general signaling purposes. And you can see this, this is a ceiling mount model, um, but I have it mounted on a wall. So there's that. And this bell is kind of cool that I have up, which by the way, I think it's the first time that I have a bell featured in a system test. Um, but as you can see, it says standard on the front, but if we look down here at the label, it's a uh, simplex model, um, 4080. So I don't know. I, my hypothesis about this alarm is that someone, you know, took apart from the standard alarm and just put it onto the simplex alarm. So it's kind of like, uh, a zombie alarm. Um, but it works. So I have it up and as you can see, I couldn't access the top screw holes up here. So I, you know, kind of have it resting on this screw right here. Um, so it's not the most optimal installation, but it gets the job done. Um, all right, so let's go ahead and get started. Uh, I have the panel set on something pretty cool, I think. i just move that light so it's not so much glare. There, that's better. Okay, uh, we'll get started with the 80 people. All right, and if you haven't figured it out by now, I have the panel set on simple coating, um, which is when uh, it pulses the horn knack uh, corresponding to the zone. So, you know, zone one will pulse the horn knack once, zone two twice, and so on. Uh, so that was zone one I just set off. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and reset this pole station really fast. You can see the handle just bounces right back up. The alert strobe is still going. Um, so I won't do a reset yet actually. Let me set off the other pole station. And I believe this one's on zone three. So the bell should pulse three times in a row. Here we go. Whoops. Okay, so it's almost like code three, but not quite. Um, and the handle keeps popping back up because once again, I don't have it really closed all the way. But the switch is up. See if I flip the switch down and go off again. So that's a nice thing about this pull station. I don't have to worry about, you know, the tape falling off and it popping open and the alarm going off because it's a switch rather than a button. Um, so there's that. Let's do a quick test of the i3. Zone four. I don't know how well my phone is picking up the amber flashes from the strobe. Um, so what we're going to do now is we're going to do a reset and then change the coating and then finish off with the test station. So hopefully everything is going to reset properly. Sorry for all the glare on this display. There we go. So go into program mode. 
Oh, shoot, I passed it. There we go. Turn it to continuous. We gotta wait for the battery trouble to come up once again. See all, all the residue from my finger from my fingers on the keypad right here. Kind of gross. Haha. <laughs> okay. Here we go. Continuous bell. Brace your ears. That wasn't too loud. Um, in college, I had the misfortune of standing underneath some class change bells about the same size as this, um, standing directly underneath them in the hallway a few times when they went off, and those things were loud, but this bell is not too bad. Um, so, with all that said, uh, do the final reset. Close up the panel. Wait for the light to turn off. There you have it. Another system test done. Thanks for watching. As always, comment, rate, and subscribe. And please have a good day.